These are Kinman uh, or series style treble bleeds. I've got a one nanofarad capacitor at 100K resistor. Um, and the first thing I want to do is, I've got one of these legs just kind of out of the way. I want to wrap the lead from the resistor around the lead for the capacitor. And so, just start wrapping. And you want to wrap it pretty tight. I'll just kind of scrunch it up, get those wraps closer together. Like that. And then I'll slide it down towards the capacitor. So it ends up like that. And then I've got my little open hand here, this uh, alligator clip will kind of act like a heat sink. My solder this puppy on here. Alright, just like that. cut off the lead from the capacitor pretty much right up next to where the solder joint is. Like that. And straighten the thing out. And that is a Kinman trouble bleed. Now I like to throw a little bit of heat shrink over the solder joint and the resistor and such. There we go. I kind of wish my heat shrink had soldered up a little bit closer, but that's okay. This will still, this will still do what I want it to do. Um, I like having the heat shrink on there because when I'm putting it on the, the pot, I'll kind of, well, I'll just kind of show you. So here's one on a pot. I haven't soldered it yet, obviously. Uh, I'll do that when I solder the other leads to it. But I like to kind of wrap it around the side of the pot to kind of get it up so it's not sticking out out of the way since I have to feed this through a fairly small cavity in the guitar. Um, and just having that uh, heat shrink on there means I don't really have to worry too much about accidentally grounding that lead against uh, the metal casing of the pot. Um, I do just have to make sure that this guy is not touching any metal other than the lug it's getting soldered to. Um, but yeah, so that's basically that's the Kimman treble bleed on the push pull pot. And this is what they look like just after being soldered together and, and all that. So 